guys, we're gonna go for a little sketch walk this morning. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit as I can. I may end up doing a voiceover. Um, these sketch walks, I love. Oh, sorry. Just, I mean, just being outside with nature, hearing the birds. It's really good for my mental health and well-being. Not to mention the exercise is good for my physical person. Um, I do encourage you all to do what you need to, to take care of yourself. You can't take care of others if you haven't taken care of yourself. It's like when you're on the airplane and they tell you to put your mask on first because you can't help the person next to you if you're not breathing. So do what you need to, to take care of yourself. For me, art is one of those ways and I'm going to go on a sketch walk. I think I'm going to head down towards the park. I always say that and I don't think I ever get that far, but we'll see what happens. I'll be back. back from our sketch walks walk and I wanted to explain a few things to you so um, what I bring and why so the first thing is this is a small delusions journal um, personally I don't want to bring anything that's too big um, you're gonna have to figure out what works for you uh, but for me, this is a really good size. And I know we're at a funny camera angle. Um, hang on. Okay, there we go. All right. So, again, uh, I wanted to explain a few things to you before I finish this page, because no, it's not done yet. Um, first of all, this is a small delusions journal. You'll have to figure out for you if you decide to tackle this, whether you call it herb urban sketching or I call it my decompression art walk or sketch walk. Um where I just kind of decompress from life and things and I go out into the neighborhood and I sketch uh, and walk and I can't come home until I'm done and I'll, I'll explain that to you. Um, so I have this um, small delusions journal. Obviously I occasionally stick stickers on there. Um, I like this because it has the pocket on the inside and in the pocket I can stick my tools. Um, one of the tools I have that I made Sorry, I bumped the camera. Um, are these cardboard squares? These are my templates. And before I leave, I dry, draw three to five squares on the two page spread. And then the idea is I can't come back until those are filled, those squares are filled. Once they're filled, then I can head home. Um, or I have to plan on sketching the last one on the way home. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, so I have those in a pocket. I have a 
um, Pentel water brush, a Bic crystal pen. It is nothing fancy, just plain and simple. And then I have this little tiny watercolor kit. I need to add more green because obviously I use green a lot. Um, and a paper towel um, and two binder clips and then a little Ziploc bag. Okay, so when I'm out, I clip the watercolor to the cover with the paper towel underneath it. Uh, like that. So it's running down one side. And then I use the other binder clip to hold the journal open. And then I can walk around. This keeps it nice and flat and I can walk around. I can walk around with it and do my sketching. This is in my left hand. I'm right hand dominant. So I can hold this in my left and do my sketching with my right. And if I have pockets, I can stick the brush and or pen in my pocket when I'm not using them. Or somebody asks, because I know you're going to, I'll link it down below. This little watercolor sketch box, paint box that I use is from, um, well, originally I think I got it from Dick Blick, I think in Nevada. Um, and it was by where Dick Blick has their sort of souvenir, gifty, novelty things. And this is a kid's watercolor sketch box. This is the one I use. This is a brand new one, obviously. Same picture on the tin. Um, so what I did, it comes, they're about, Wet Paint does sell them, and I'll link that listing below. Um, it is pretty popular because it's the perfect, like, small travel watercolor box. Um, what you do is you just pop out the kids' watercolors, obviously take the brush out, and then refill it with your artist colors. Now, on mine, I did that. I also put some plastic dividers here where the brush was. I epoxied them in or resin them in. And then I filled, I could get three more colors in there. I did a swatch card, which is on the back. So I know what colors they were if I need to refill or I need to figure out because you'll see like the Payne's gray, the sepia and the purple kind of all look the same. So if you don't do a swatch, you don't know which one is in, for me, I don't know which one is in which place. So these are perfect for that. They're nice and tiny. Could you use something else? Of course you could, but I love this and it's just enough to do this sketch walk. I've taken it traveling with me and um, it's just enough for that. I don't need a ton of paint to carry around. Um, obviously, I do have some extras, uh, mostly because the hinge is plastic. So at some point, I'd fully expect the lid to just come off. <laughs> but that being said, I love it. Um, so once I get home with the sketchbook, then this is the page we did today. Then I do some journaling around the pictures before I'm done some writing. So let's do that.
necessarily write anything that makes sense to anybody else except me about how I felt when I was walking. And that's what it's about. It's not about perfection. Each one of these sketches, I only spend about five minutes on. They're not Picasso by any stretch. They're expressive and semi-abstracted and um, suggestive. That's okay with me. It's not about perfection and you don't have to be me and show it to anybody else. But I wanna encourage you this week to go out and um, give something like this a try. Use um, your art um, to calm down and decompress. Um, if you're not able to walk and get out of the house, maybe just go into your backyard and do that. Maybe don't even do that if you can't leave the house mentally or physically. Um, walk around the inside of your house and sketch what you can see on the inside. Maybe it's your coffee cup and, you know, the fork on the sink and it could be anything. So I encourage you to give it a try. Let me know what you think. Leave questions, comments, or concerns down below as always. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to share what you do with me, you can join my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression, and share it over there. Be sure to tag me in the post so I don't miss it. All right, that's it for this week. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.